What is up, people? I've always said this is a horrible fight. Uh, it says, um, Ronda Rousey announced on Good Morning America of her next title fight. And it says, Ronda Rousey will be facing former professional boxer turned MMA fighter Holly Holmes at UFC 195 on January 2nd in Las Vegas. While many speculated it would have been Misha Tate would get a third crack at the undefeated champion. The fight ended up going to Holmes, who has had two fights in the UFC. Okay, that's okay. Two fights. In, let's see right here. It says um, only two fights in the UFC. The UFC wasn't terribly impressed in either of her decision victories. In some ways, it's better for Ronda Rousey because it's a new opponent. I, I really... Here's the way the fight's going to go out. Uh, Holly Holm starts very slow, thinks she's a great boxer. Ronda Rousey's going to rush her, slam her down, and knock her out in like 30 seconds. That, that's it. I, I don't see any way of this fight's going any other way. Holly Holmes, to me, is not the woman that's going to beat her. She's, I think, honestly... Misha Tate is a way better fighter than than Holly Holmes. I uh, I I think Holly Holmes is good. She still needs to fight somebody higher up, and she's not impressed me uh, at all. She hasn't done a lot. And I'll say this at the end of the day: Who do you guys want to see uh, in this competition? Do you want to see Ronda Rousey versus Misha Tate three, or do you guys want to see? Ronda Rousey versus Holly Holmes. Because a lot of people for the last couple of years have said, well, Holly Holmes will beat her. Holly Holmes could kick her ass. Holly Holmes is the woman to beat Ronda Rousey. And from the fights I've seen in her UFC matches, she she's okay at best. She doesn't show that much. I never see her do the ground game, which is she a fish out of water when it comes to the ground game where Ronda Rousey will take her down and she'll go, I don't even know what to do because there's a difference between training ground game and being in a competition on the ground. And I think that's what's going to happen. She's going to be on the ground getting the kick, the shit kicked out of her. And everybody's going to look at her and go, well, I thought Holly Holmes was the woman to beat Ronda Rousey. She's not the woman to beat Rousey. No, not at all. Ronda Rousey cannot beat. I mean, uh, Holly Holmes cannot beat Ronda Rousey. I, I doubt it. The only person I think is either Chris Cyborg, if they make that fight happen, or maybe Misha Tate could take her out of the deep water. Because Misha Tate took her into the third round. And even Betch Cohea, which was a woman who everybody was like, yeah, she's going to dominate Rousey. She made it 30 seconds and got whooped. How how fast is Ronda Rousey going to beat Holly Holmes? A minute? I, I, I really don't think it's going to be any more than that. But... Uh, it says, I think she's a super athlete in a weak, like Brock says, I think she's a super athlete in a weak division with women, with women's MMA still having a fresh new car scent. Ronda is above everybody. And even Brock Lesnar said this, that she's like a number 10 and everybody else is like a number 3 because she's so dominant. And... I don't know what people see in Holly Holmes. I, I don't see her as being the most dominant fighter, being that aggressive. Ronda Rousey skips Misha Tate trio to fight former boxing professional boxer. That that doesn't make sense. But I can see why they, they're saying that because it is what it is, you know? Because when you look at it, you're like, oh, okay, it's a new fresh face. She wants a new opponent. What are they going to do when she's just dominating and dominating and dominating and dominating and dominating? You know, there's got to be a breaking point where they say, You know what, Rhonda? Why don't you go to 145 and fight? Or is Ronda Rousey going to be kind of like Floyd Money Mayweather, eventually fighting so many people, beating them? Or like, um, what's his name? Uh, Fedor Melnenko, where he just fought so many people so many times. It got to the point he would. People were like, "Oh, you're just fighting tomato cans," because they did start saying that for a while. They did say, "Hey, 
uh, Fader, for the last five years, you're fighting tomato cans. Even Dana White said this. And I don't know if this is going to come down to what Ronda Rousey's career is all about, where people are like, I'm sick and tired of her winning. She can't, no, no woman can even take her out of the first round, out of the first minute of the fight. And I don't want to see that. I don't want to see her look at like a tomato can. I don't want to see people like, oh yeah, she's just fighting another tomato can because the UFC doesn't want her to lose. No, it's not that the UFC doesn't want her to lose, not because she's the biggest draw in MMA. It's the fact that the women's division, there is no competition for her. She's just that damn good. It's like bringing a knife to a gunfight when you fight Ronda Rousey. That's what it is. Ronda's like a machine gun, and Misha Tate is like a little butter knife. That's just how it is. But that's just my opinion, and I don't really think uh, Holly Holmes deserves a fight after only two two victories. I mean, I can see why people are like, well, Misha Tate shouldn't fight her because she's already got whooped twice. Yeah, I can see that. But you look at, in the men's division, how many times has Frankie Edgar got an automatic rematch over and over and over, got an automatic title shot over and over and over, and Uriah Faber, Uriah Faber, always over and over and over, and then there's fighters that never get a title shot, Michael Bisbing, for example, everybody's like, well, Bisbing hasn't fought any high-level competition that he's beaten, yeah, well, he went like, like on a six-fight win streak in the lightweight, div- light heavyweight division, okay, then he goes to the two... To 185 and goes on like a six seven fight win streak when he first went down to there in like 2011 or 2008 whatever it was and then he narrates the title shot it doesn't make sense that certain fighters always get multiple title shots and other fighters never get a title shot ever but I think at the end of the day this is a weak division and Brock Lesnar's right she's like a man amongst uh, women. She's just going to dominate him. And at the end of the day, will Holly Holmes be the girl to beat Ronda Rousey? Yeah, right. I, I don't see that ever happening. I don't see it happening. But sorry, this is just an audio version of me talking instead of uh, doing a video. But I just want to throw it up there and let you guys know that I don't see Ronda Rousey uh, being... Uh, having any challenges, especially her. I, ne- I wasn't impressed. They even say the UFC wasn't really impressed with her. They thought Holly Holmes would come here and devastatingly knock out. Even Joanna Jacek has way better striking, way better boxing. It seems to me that Holly Holmes, like, she, she's good boxer, okay, but she's slow. Like, she's not, like, a very fast fighter. She'll go, one, two, kick. And it's like the same kind of thing. You're not going to be able to pull off that one-two kick combo with Rousey. Because Rousey's going to rush you and maybe take a few shots and slam you. That's the way it is. Ronda is the bull in this competition. She runs across the cage, gets in your face, and starts throwing down. That, that's how she wins. She if, if Holly Holmes can do what she's done to a lot of other opponents where... She can kind of stick and jab, stick and jab. Maybe she has the chance to win this fight, but that's the only way I see it. But Ronda is uh, too aggressive for that. She's not going to let somebody stick and move, stick and move. But at the end of the day, I'm saying Ronda Rousey uh, is going to win within the first two minutes of the fight. I'm saying it's going to pro- it might go a little bit longer than these other people, but I'll say about a minute to a minute and a half. As always, thanks for uh, listening, and I will definitely talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.